Hey guys, even here, very exciting video for today, we're gonna have a couple of very interesting topics, but we're gonna start with this one, it's about Nick Walker, and the question is, how the hell is this guy managing to keep progressing year after year, every offseason, he seems to be making some kind of prog, not just some kind of progress, he seems to be making muscle mass, literally he's growing every offseason, even though he seems like he's maxed out, he isn't. Now, before we continue talking about Nick Walker, I'm just gonna tell you guys, if you are struggling with putting on the muscle, there is one really good way, one fix, one life hack, let's say, it is Vintage Brown, basically a protein powder by the Old School Labs. If you guys want to support me and this channel, you can just click on the link down below and use the code EVAN. You get a 15% discount, I get something from it. So if you guys want to show some support, that is how you can do it. Uh, there is a whole bunch of different great flavors of Vintage Brown. I'll be honest, I still haven't tried birthday cake flavor and mint chocolate. I'm about to order these two flavors, but I gotta tell you, rich chocolate, the best flavor, I think, in my opinion. I love chocolate. The other flavors are all great. It just depends on who likes what. I like tiramisu very much so, and I like vanilla milkshake. The other flavors, all great. You can just try any of these guys. You can try the new flavors and tell me how you like them before I try them even. So if you guys want to show me some love, get yourself some vintage brown. Take a photo of it in your IG, tag me, let me know how you like it. Now let's continue with Nick Walker once again. This guy is insane, he, he's crazy, like how the hell does he even manage to make this kind of progress at this point in his career, it's insane. In my previous video, I was commenting his midsection, or let's be honest, I was commenting his bubble gut, and I was saying that it seems like it's out of control. And you guys know, if you follow me for a long time, you know I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Nick Walker. Like, when I'm prepping for my shows, his videos on YouTube are what I'm watching to get myself motivated, to get myself hyped up. I was really sad when he left What I Built's podcast. I love this guy. I mean, his personality is really awesome. He's really making bodybuilding fun. As far as his physique, I also like his physique because he has dominant arms. I have horrible arms and that's probably what I focus on the most when I'm looking at other physiques, when I criticize them. If somebody has great arms, I find their physiques much more impressive than I would if they didn't have great arms. Also, I'm a classic guy, but I would love to be an open bodybuilder. I don't have the genetics for it, so I love mass monsters as well. That is something I admire the most. Big arms and just overall mass. And Nick has that. And on top of it all, he has an interesting personality. He's open about his past, about his insecurities, about who he really is. He's open on, 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 on internet. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like, we all know why we all like Nick so much. So we do like him. I do like him. I do not hate Nick Walker. The truth couldn't be further away from that. But I'm just worried because if he ruins his midsection which it really seems to me like he could do now because of his behavior and also because of that guest posing in which his stomach didn't look very good. Like it wasn't just the waist size, how wide his waist is structurally or that he was a little bit bloated. It wasn't usual off-season guest posing Nick Walker shape. It was worse than it usually is. In these photos, however, you can't really see that. In these photos, his midsection looks tight. But then again, it's only a couple of carefully selected photos in which he can really hide his midsection, right? I mean, two variations of most muscular, where he can hide his midsection with his arms, with his hands, and also side chest, where he can do exactly the same thing. So, you cannot see his biggest flaw right here. And your flaws are basically what's gonna make you or break you. You know, you're not judged by how good you are, really, on that level. You're judged on how bad your weaknesses are. And if you have a glaring weakness like that, it's gonna cost you a couple of spots for sure, especially today when bubble guts are not... Are, are just really not tolerated at all and they are really heavily criticized and guys are getting marked down for it. It's like, I don't know, it's probably worse than gyno. So, again, uh, Nick is playing the size game right now, obviously, you all can see it, he's growing rapidly again, and the caption, and also an answer in the Q&A, they asked him, what the, uh, somebody asked him about why the judges are going with, like, the more aesthetic kind of physiques, like Samson and Andrew and stuff like that, uh, and his, his reply was, well, and the question was actually, what is gonna be his his game plan for the upcoming Olympia, how is he gonna surpass these aesthetic monsters? And his reply was, he's gonna come full as a house. 
and here in the caption you can see they want full i will give them full and i mean i love the caption it's really it's really interesting it's entertaining i mean i love it i love the passion he has for bodybuilding but i'm just a little worried and i also left a comment on matt jensen's post a couple of photos of nick d's photos and i said i hope you're taking care of his stomach i, I hope you're considering that and he was like did you see the guest posing like i was risking getting blocked and I was blocked by many people because I didn't agree with them. I risked it because I wanted to tell him. Because it's really important. Like, it's really important. I don't know. if you, I don't think he's going to listen to me. Who the hell am I <laughs> to give advices to Matt Jensen and Nick Walker? I know. But I'm just giving you guys my opinion. This is what my channel is all about. Giving my thoughts, my assessment. You guys can agree or disagree. It's all up to you. You're free to say whatever the hell you want down below in the comment section. So please go down below and tell me what do you think. If you go to my previous videos, you're going to see that I heart almost all the comments. I definitely always read them all i don't reply to all of them because there is so many but i try to reply to as many as i can and uh, priority have the most interesting ones and the ones that trigger me so guys make sure to leave the comment down below and to like the video and to subscribe for more stuff like this now let's move on to the next topic and it is another freaky update of sergio oliva it might not be it might not seem as freaky after looking at nick walker who is like probably currently the biggest bodybuilder in the world Seeing what Big Grammy looks like right now after that Pittsburgh Pro guest posing, I'd say Nick Walker is the most impressive, the most massive, the freakiest bodybuilder right now. And after looking at him, you're looking at this guy who is also really big, 286 right now this morning, as he says. And he says he's trying to pull a rabbit out of his hat, meaning he's trying to get conditioned for the show and somehow leave Dubai because they're not letting him go because of that accident he had a couple of months ago. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna manage, but let's assess his physique, that's what we can do right now, and, like, his conditioning is good, you know, he's not, uh, I would, let's say he's not Chris Bumstead, uh, Mr. Olympia shredded, he's not completely dialed in, but, like, for open bodybuilding, this is good, he can definitely do a peak weekend, look amazing on the stage, and win a lot of pro shows, I'm not sure exactly which show he's aiming for, uh, there are a couple of shows coming up, there's a lot of shows actually coming up, so he can choose whichever one he likes, whichever one he can manage to get himself to, whenever the Dubai authorities allow him to travel out of Dubai. Uh, as far as his physique, once again, the conditioning is good, as far as the size, I mean, 286 can't be small, he's big, but he's tall, you know, he, like, he's, he's a taller guy, he's definitely much taller than somebody like Nick Walker, I think he's like 6 foot or something like that. So, for his frame, he he still needs more mass, man. He still needs more mass in legs. And you're looking at this photo and you're thinking, like, his arms are good. They are big. Shoulders are massive. Chest is great. Legs are not bad. I mean, he's kind of known for having good legs. But, like, here, I mean, the doctors are great. I would love to see more outer sweep. Again, big legs, sure. But for his frame, I would love to see more thickness. And this photo... It's, it's a really good photo, you know, it's, it's a flattering photo, and it'll be probably better for this video if I just left this photo here and, and told you how he's looking amazing, that he's gonna win a show, that's why he, if he gets to the show, he's gonna win it, but he posted a couple of other photos, and I gotta be transparent with you guys, I gotta show them to you and be honest um, as far as uh, what I'm seeing in these photos, and I'm not as impressed now when I look at the other photos. This front relaxed, like, imagine him standing next to somebody like Nick Walker. I mean, sure, he would be taller, but, again, like, uh, those lats could be attached lower, they could be thicker. Chest could definitely be thicker. Like, legs, I mean, his legs are big, but, again, for a guy of his frame, of his height, he could be just more massive, and um, I would say more conditioned, but there is time. He can get more conditioned, that's not the problem. The problem, the only problem that he has right now, and has always really had, was, and still is, just overall thickness, overall mass of his, of his body, because his frame is just so wide, so big, so tall. Back in the day, his father was known as a, as a giant, you know, as a mass monster, and Sergio Leva Jr. is probably bigger than his father ever was, but this, I mean, today's criteria, today's standards are just much, much higher as far as muscle mass. Here is another photo of himself just standing there relaxed. Again, like, he's not gonna be the biggest guy pound for pound on any stage. 
he might be bigger than some guys because he's so tall because he has really like super long muscle bellies in his arms and those arms are really thick but if you exclude those arms and let's say even shoulders as far as his chest his back and let's even see legs like he's not super crazy impressive so can he even win a pro show if he if he goes to the u.s yeah there are pro shows that he can win but like can he be top 10 at the olympia absolutely not i don't see that i i can i can i have struggled seeing him correct in the top 15 at the olympia that's just what i think guys you can tell me down below again if you disagree please please tell me whatever you think i'll try to reply to as many comments as i can now let's move on to this freaking mass monster what the hell is going on here is this photoshopped i mean seriously is this photoshopped like he didn't say anywhere in the caption that it is i mean those legs don't look real to me or those biceps Carlos Thomas Jr. I mean, he turned pro last year, I believe, at the USA's. He was competing against Justin Shire in the overall. He won his class and then the overall, and that's how he got his pro card. And uh, he was supposed to have a pro debut at the New York Pro, but I think he had some health issues and he had to uh, reschedule that. So here you can see he he looks like I don't know, man. I'm so confused. This looks like this looks just freaky. Like he got out of that hyperbolic time chamber or he looks like real life photoshop i don't know how to say this but like this does not look normal <laughs> he was prepping for the new york and for whatever reason he stopped the prep so he probably had a really good rebound because i don't know what the hell is going on with his physique he looks like like a cartoon character really like look at those freaking biceps and those quads and maybe they are even so big to the point where they don't even look normal and they are too big like those biceps are looking too big i would i don't know how this is gonna look like on stage but like i never I, I never thought i would say that somebody's biceps are looking too big but here it is it looks like his biceps are just overgrown <laughs> they look so silly so insane the same thing goes with his quads he has big rammy quads now Maybe even more impressive. I don't know. I and mean, this is just one photo. We still have to wait and see what he looks like on stage once he's shredded. But what I'm seeing right here is freaking me out. Guys, tell me, what do you think? Is this real? Is this some kind of a joke, a Photoshop? What the hell is going on with Carlos Thomas Jr.? Did he really go into the hyperbolic time chamber or did he figure out something like some kind of myostatin blocker, some new medicine that came out that nobody knows about? or what is going on whatever is going on he's making some serious progress and it seems like this guy is going to be one of the one of the most impressive one of the freakiest bodybuilders in the world soon he's not right he's not out of the oven yet like as louis marco used to say he's not completely diced he doesn't, doesn't really have that maturity yet but once he figures out that conditioning once his maturity muscle maturity comes along and if he keeps progressing even more if he keeps growing wow like where the hell is this guy gonna get like and it seems like his waist size is not going away anywhere like he has a really small waist i mean like the only problem that i could see right now is that he grows too much and it just freaks everybody out and the judges don't know where to place him with this much mass or he is going to create another evolution in the sport like Dorian Yates did in 1993. Or it could be just a really, like, really good angle and maybe some Photoshop or something like that. A really good pump, really good lighting. But I don't know if this can be faked. I think he just grew insanely. I don't know, man. <laughs> confusing, confusing. Really, really crazy, really impressive. Tell me what you think, guys. Please, this one is very important. Tell me down below what you think about this one. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. Am I overhyping this? Am I exaggerating? What I'm seeing here is really blowing my mind, honestly. Like, you can see it. You can hear it in my voice. This is real, guys. This is me. Like, this is me being honest. This is my real, honest, first-hand reaction. And you can hear it. And I hope I'm not the only one that sees this. Tell me down below if you see it or if you think I'm crazy or whatever, just also make sure to let me know. What a crazy video. This is not all. We have another insane update 
of Kyun Pearson. Look at this freaking guy right now. How impressive is he looking? I would say the only reason why this guy is not your 212 Mr. Olympia is because he's not out of the oven yet. He doesn't have that maturity and the, con the conditioning was actually pretty good, but the maturity that has to come along with time, with, with, with uh, time put into training and dieting down multiple times, it's something that's going to come along with time. But as soon as it does, and it's going to take him maybe a year, maybe three, maybe five, but I think it's only the matter of time when this guy is going to take over the 212. Like right now the champ is Sean Clarida, and Sean Clarida has a crazy shape, but he's not as complete as as Keon, like his chest is really narrow, his clavicles are really narrow, he has some flaws, he's definitely way more impressive because of his crazy back, because of his crazy popping muscle bellies everywhere, uh, Keon doesn't really have that, but he has prettier structure, smaller waist size, really beautiful lines, and if this guy cracks the conditioning, if he actually comes in super diced and matured, and I'm sure it's only a matter of time when that's gonna happen, and also over time, of course, with age, Sean Clarida is gonna fade away. And I think this is the guy who's gonna take over the 212 for who knows how many years. Look at him right now, man. Super, super impressive. Just like probably the best genetics in the entire world right now that we have. For sure, I would say. Whatever you guys think though about Keon Genetics or whichever part of this video, please leave the comment down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and please guys, if you want to support me, the only way, the best way that you can do that is by buying, just trying any of the old school lab supplements, I suggest you Vintage Brown, it's tasting delicious, whichever flavor you prefer, just get yourself one container, tag me on Instagram, let me know how you like the taste, guys, stay tuned for more bodybuilding content like this, Thank you so much for watching, all the best guys and bye bye.